Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss with you a very interesting topic of how to deal with nested loops in list comprehension. But before I talk anything about nested loops or list comprehension, let me put up a question before you, which is um, for first n natural numbers, find all the distinct pairs of numbers whose product is odd. So basically, you will be given some uh, natural numbers, let's say 1 to 10, and then you have to find all the distinct pairs of numbers among them whose product will be odd, which is let's say 1, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7, 9, so on, like that. So that is what you have to solve, okay? So let's say n is equal to 10. And now I want to solve this question. So what can I do is, I can um, specify an empty list in which I'll be storing the pairs. And then for x in range 1 to n, then for y in range 1 to n, I will be checking if x into y modulo 2 is equal to 1 or not if that happens which means the product uh, of x and y is odd then i will simply append the tuple of x and y to my answer list and if i do that and if i check answer look at that i get something like this now there is some problem with this approach the problem is that um, i am repeating 1 3 and 3 1 here so in order to avoid this particular thing i can simply do x plus 1 so y should start from x plus 1 up to n. So if I just solve it like this, I will get the desired result. So I have 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 7, 1, 9, and then 3, 5, 3, 7, 3, 9, 5, 7, 5, 9, 7, 9. These are all distinct values. So now the question is that how do I solve it using list comprehension, which means I want to use a single line to solve this big question, which means I have around five lines in order to solve this question here but how about solving this in a single line so now the simplest thing that comes to our mind is that since we are using for loops here and we are generating a list then why not use a list comprehension but then a problem comes to our mind which is there are two for loops in the solution so i have to use nested looping in a list comprehension so how to do that so let us see how to do that so it is quite easy actually all you have to do is you have to write the loops one by one so the outer loop is for x in range n so you simply write that 1 to n and then you just specify the next loop for y in range x plus 1 up to n and then now once you have given all the loops like this now you can put the if condition here which is x into if x into y modulo 2 is 1 and what you want to have x comma y here that's it and this will give us the same solution so yeah so this is how you do nested list nested looping in list comprehension you simply specify your loops one by one the outer loop is given first and then the inner loops like this and so on now just to extend this solution let's say i ask you to find the triplets then in that case what will you do is that you will just do for z in range um, y plus one up to n and then you will be checking the condition like this x into y into z modulo 2 is 1 or not and then you will be appending z as well so this will be the solution for getting the triplets um just making a bit of correction here like this so you get all the triplets which are giving odd product so how do i do that in a single line again so now for x in range is done for y in range is done so last is for z in range so you just put the innermost loop here for z in range 1 to um, it's y plus 1 up to n and here you put x into y into z and here you put x comma y comma z and look at that you get the result so a question which is taking about 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 lines to get solved we are solving it in a single line like this so using list comprehension with nested looping so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you understood the concept you if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching